The virtual real estate market will explode in 2022, but it won't happen on Ethereum, according to our next guest. Joining us is Irina Karaga, head of metaverse growth at Unique Network and NFT platform on Polkadot. Welcome, Irina. So the most popular metaverse projects out there today are built on Ethereum, such as Decentraland, Sandbox, Axie Infinity, but you believe virtual real estate will see the most growth on other blockchains next year. Why? Good morning, Christina Lawrence. Um, I believe that we Ethereum has its limitations. Uh, we did see an explosion of NFTs and metaverse concepts uh, on the Ethereum blockchain, but so much more has happened uh, in the past sort of eight months. Uh, we now have Polkadot going live on December 18th. We have Tezos, Solana, Kusama, Cardano, all other chains, and a lot of startups entering the metaverse and understanding the value of uh, building Web3, of building virtual worlds, um, and then and, uh, getting into NFT space. Because what we are seeing now is really the organizational infrastructure being built and communities being gathered around it. Uh, and we need advanced tools. We need scalability to blockchains. Uh, we need other features uh, to enable real growth of uh, other application and, and metaverses like open metaverse because uh, what we tend to talk about now a lot is um, sort of this superficial level, the level that the end user um, sees first, just the virtual world, the user interface, the 3D space, uh, but the metaverse is much more than that. And when you see people buying virtual real estate versus actual real estate in the physical world? Uh, it is already happening uh, in a way. And uh, to me, the metaverse is sort of a sandbox and an environment where we can experiment and test concepts that uh, may not, not necessarily work right now in the real world because uh, real estate is very conservative industry and uh, buying property uh, may be very expensive or often unaffordable or you know, it's just not accessible by young people, by millennials. Uh, and now uh, these younger generations are entering um, the space of real estate and realizing, you know, what they can afford, what they cannot, and how to actually approach this, uh, this industry, right? Because you, uh, everybody wants to grow their wealth. Everybody wants to uh, own a piece of land. And uh, it does look to me that we will uh, first face younger generations purchasing uh, a piece of virtual land and testing how it feels to own a land, even if it's virtual, uh, in the metaverse, and then apply this concept to the real life. Of course, it will take us um, some time in developments, uh, in regulations, in tech integrations, uh, to get to the point when uh, we will be able to tokenize real property through, let's say, non-fungible tokens as they represent unique um, uh, unique digital asset on a blockchain uh, and then move these rights to uh, on the real property. So like uh, we can certify, uh, you know, uh, Irina, you know, I, one example that, that you, so one thing that you said is that you see growth happening outside of Ethereum and, and people cite the expenses that are involved with, with doing anything on the Ethereum blockchain. However, if you're going to liken it to real estate in the real world, in the physical world, you look at New York City, a city where prices kept going up and up until just recently when, when it was taken over by, by a complete buffoon for mayor. Um, you, you look at the you look at high taxes equivalent to high gas fees. You look at um, the cost of owning real estate just seem to be impervious to certain declines in and throughout the the U.S. economy at least in other in other cities. It still remained a very desirable location to buy into. So, it, does it really matter that the Ethereum blockchain is expensive if everybody? wants to buy into it anyway is is it is, is that analogy of of being uh, very similar to physical real estate actually incredibly accurate when it comes to uh the ethereum blockchain uh well of course we all want to live in in an exclusive area right and have access to some 
perks and bonuses. And now uh, metaverse is like Sandbox or Decentraland or Roblox. Uh, because of the activities they were having, because of the um, users they were attracting, um, it is what it is right now. It's expensive, but it's attractive. But the truth is that we haven't witnessed other uh, other use cases. We haven't seen other metaverses with other opportunities because it's just beginning to emerge. Uh, we will see many more on, say, uh, substrate chains where gas fees are low. And uh, next year, at the beginning, we'll see many more projects that are being built um, sort of in disguise for uh, for several years. And they will start attracting celebrities and Snoop Dogg is already you know, buying uh, real estate and many more celebrities will enter the space and many more brands. So there will be disruption and there will be stage two when we will understand that Ethereum is sort of a vertical infrastructure where you know everybody wants to live on the top floor uh but then you have an amazing green land uh outside of that building and you know maybe you want to purchase a villa <laughs> somewhere outside there and, and have your own exclusive party you know wh why why not why do we have to limit ourselves to just one infrastructure if there is a choice mm -hmm. a real one For available sure. one because yeah so so far the uh it wasn't available it's just simple as that 